Hey there everybody, this is Hive. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Empire. It just came out today. It is a dungeon management game, just like Dungeon Keeper 2 that I was playing. Hopefully I'll be able to do a full playthrough on this one, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So let's just go ahead and jump right in, start a new campaign. Yes please. Alright. So we got some basic spells, no skills yet. Alright, looks good. Chapter 1. Let's do it. Let's just jump right in. Launch game. Sounds about right. You were going about your daily business of flogging the mindless, slithering masses, covering the steep walls of your bottomless domain, when you felt someone yanking at your soul. After a first attack of unease, you found yourself quite excited by the prospect of being pulled away from a job that had started to seem kind of tedious and unrewarding. Boy, are you in for a nasty surprise. Alright. Hell so. Salabim, Akio Impum, rise from the dark, oh Hellspawn! Join me to orchestrate a symphony of destruction that will echo across the land of the Sidrian kings. Hell Salabim, Akio Impum. What? I, I did it. After forty years of trying, I oh actually. Oh my God. Uh, I were mean, we just summoned by a chump? Uh, did you I think we were. To the realm of Ardania, oh my Look at him. Tormentor. Look at this Spawn guy. Eternal night and underworld. He's got a little bit of a smudge on his chin. Oscar Van He's digging Fell into his point. neck. Amen. He doesn't seem to I mind. I am your master, or rather... Oscar. Think of me as your father. Uh, no, wait. Uh, not your father. <laughs> Scratch that. Definitely not your father. <laughs> I am your... Clearly not advisor. my father. My father's mouth oh, moves crap. when he talks. What have I fallen into this time? You can speak! That's amazing! <laughs> I mean, I have obviously conversed with demons before. <laughs> Powerful ones, too. Arch demons and such. But tell me, what is thy name, Imp? I am Baal Abaddon, the creature of the bottomless pit. Excellent. Uh, I didn't really catch a proper name in there, but uh, never mind. <laughs> I will call you something really awesome. Something to inspire anguish and fear in our enemies like uh, Slayer or uh, Demon of Death or maybe just Death Slayer. Yes, nice. that's it. <laughs> You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You're welcome. Now, let's have a look at you. Spin around, spin around. Oh my, you look fabulous. Colorful and evil and radiant like... like a shiny red rainbow in the dark. You think? Moments ago I was 15 feet tall and wreathed in flames, you quack. This incarnation stinks. Yes, yes, I understand. No doubt you want to know why I've summoned you. Well, enlightenment will be yours before long. For now, I can tell you this much. Heed my counsel, and I will give you the world. You'll reign in blood. Men will crawl at your feet, and you'll have thousands of pretty maids dancing for you in their unmentionables. Okay. Now you're talking. Now what's the catch? Would you please stop squeaking for a moment? Now. Before you can indulge yourself, there is work to be done. And before work can be done, you need to convince me that you've got a true appetite for destruction. You are testing me? That's absurd! You're a moth testing the bonfire, little man! Would you keep quiet and listen? Nearby lives a piece of trash named Malister Cruelly. We went to school together, majoring in demonology. He was a pompous prick then, and now he's even worse. He thinks he's so superior, when in truth he is no smarter than your average doorknob. Your first task is to rob Mr. Cruelly of everything he owns. After that, I want you to crush him to death. I will oh. adjourn to my office, but we will stay in contact telepathically. So don't worry, I'll guard right. your steps. Just make sure you dazzle me. Uh, hopefully. You're standing in my cozy little basement. It may not look like much talking at the to moment, but I promise you, it has the potential to become fantastically me. nasty. 
To aid you in the remodeling process, I will first teach you how to summon a type of worker demon to help you. Why not make it two while you're at it? It's easy peasy. As a demonologist extraordinaire, I am of course knowledgeable about the fact that you demons perceive yourselves in a fairly odd way when summoned to the Ardanian plane. As if you were seeing yourself in the third person, through a picture frame of sorts. Anyway, to summon a worker, try this. First you right-click on yourself, whatever that means, and hold the button <laughs> pressed. Keeping this button pressed will bring up a context menu where you simply need to select the Adama summon worker Kadabra. icon to summon it. Complicated stuff, being a demon and all. Hope I got that right. You should also know that the Poxy, amount of workers Poxy, you can have around Poxy, is somehow linked to your dungeon's reputation. Ah, you'll figure that out eventually. All right. That's Splendid good. work Man so far, here. Death Slayer. Now, minions love to work and eat. According to Virgil Danton's Guide to the Rim of Hell, they are particularly fond of spores, molds, and fungus. Order your workers to repair this mushroom room so they have somewhere to collect. To repair a room, bring your mouse cursor over the room click and hold the right button to bring up the context menu all right simple enough can we zoom out no all right so we're, we're locked here for now lots of talking going on here hopefully just for this first level although that's what we expect is a little bit of tutorial because honestly I don't know what the hell I'm doing Looks like we repaired the room. Done. That's good. Food produced in there will allow you to summon more minions to serve our cause. We also need someone to cultivate and harvest the food. So let's order one of the worker imps to do so. All right. Select the worker standing in the room by left clicking him. Then assign him to the mushroom room by right clicking on the ground in the middle of the mushroom. Okay. Great. It's working. Just so you know. Another option would have been to bring up the context menu for the mushroom room and select the call worker option. Sounds good. Alright, can we move around yet? Nope, we are still locked in place. What is this? And this. Imagine this is me. Imagine Death this is Slayer. our goal. Our mushroom operator just dropped a bag. But don't worry, that's a loot bag containing mushrooms. You'll need a stock room to store them. Got it. I happen to notice there's an old broken down stock room next to your mushroom room. Open the stock room's context menu and select repair. This will send a minion to repair the room. Oh, how fantastic! Now any worker who hasn't got more important things to do can go searching for loot bags and carry them to the stock room. Just watch that little bugger go! Alright. So I'm just gonna summon some more Oops. workers here, why not? This must be one of Cruelly's minions posted as a sentry. Ooh, it's a berserker, no less. I want it. Quickly, attack it with a lightning bolt. Bring up the context menu of the enemy berserker and select the lightning oh. icon. Whoops. It looks like I've used all of our mana, so we're just gonna have to wait. We're just gonna have to wait here and admire this this berserker's beautiful red pants. And and it looks like he's wearing a pit boy as well. There we go. Blast him with some lightning. Excellent. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? I will study the corpse and soon be able to teach you how to summon such creatures into your service. Build go yourself Oscar. a nursery while I dissect the corpse. That is a room allowing you to spawn minions of your own. To construct a new room, you can click the management mode button, or you can hmm, let's see. You can smash the hotkey, whatever that is. And <laughs> this will sound totally deranged, but once you have selected to build the nursery, you're supposed to be able to rotate the room before placing it in the world. You do that by right-clicking before finally placing it with a click on the left button. All right, so I need a nursery right here. Ah, it wants me to do that. All right, so it'll spin clockwise. I guess I'm supposed to place it here. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do there because this is a tutorial. And you're supposed to listen to tutorials, right? Hopefully something will happen. I imagine one of our wonderful workers can I chop the shit out of this wall and then disappear. <laughs> so now we, we don't really get to see what's going on. We just have to trust in the worker and know that he's doing a good job. I believe in him. Like he's already done. 
Oh, I almost forgot. The nursery needs a worker to do the actual nursing. Summon a new one and assign it to the room at Are once. Are done. So we're gonna do call worker. Excellent. Definitely prefer that. Excellent. I'm done with my research. Ex so I agree, bring Oscar. Up the context menu of the nursery. You should see the berserker listed among the basic units. Select it to spawn yourself a brand new berserker. One uh, final note about the nursery. Uh, the spawning of units costs you some food, and the amount varies depending on okay. what you spawn. So you Might can see, be good to keep in mind. You can see it's got a five food cost down there. And then if we look up here, we see we've got 35 food, I'm guessing. Okay. All right, I see. What's this? Max mushrooms. All right, so let, we'll figure that all out. Let's just let's just summon a berserker for now. Because Oscar told us to, and it is it is our father after all. Oh, he's adorable, your first little impling berserker. If you let him wander, he will attack any enemy he sees. <laughs> to make even better use of him, you should partner him with other units by assigning him to a squad. All right. To add the berserker to one, open the squad's menu and simply drag the berserker icon onto the first squad location to the right. Got it. Now, create another berserker, but this time try spawning him using the management mode. Oh. Open the menu and click the units button in the lower left of your view. Then click the berserker icon. Once he's ready for action, uh. go back to the squad's menu and assign it to the same squad. Oh, this is neat. So, it shows up here what's going on, but you can also hover over to get just a little, little view in there. That's pretty cool. Can we move? Ah, oh, alright. Oh, you can use WSD. That's amazing. Oh, this is great. All right, I'm gonna make two because why the hell not? Sounds great. What's what's the hockey for management mode? Not sure. All right. Oh, and I was supposed to add them to a squad. Excellent. Excellent. You can assign up to four units to each squad, who then will begin to behave differently no, than I'm they would in single units. Another one. They will help each other out, gain experience and special squad skills. Your squads will be on guard duty by default, but that may be changed in each unit's context menu or in the squad menu. All right. So but we'll get to that later. Now it's time to locate more of Cruelly's minions and squash them to goo. It's time to pay Malister cruelly a visit. To reach his cellar, you must order the workers to build a hallway. Start by clicking the squares I have highlighted for you, Way ahead and our of you, Oscar. minions will get the job done. Way ahead of ya. Oh, let's look at some of these cool things we have. Dive? Extractor workshop? Oh man, look at all this stuff. Ah. Ah, I can't wait to get a whole a prison. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Ah, a gate. I can't Death wait Slayer, to see all remember these, these that buildings you are the in, in action. Only one who can interact with such objects. In order to gain access to the next part of the dungeon, you'll have to go there and pull the lever yourself. Right. Then take a look around. Boom. Oh, you can go directly into management mode by scrolling all the way out. That's pretty handy. Although I do kind of miss piles of treasure piled up around my my dungeon heart. It's done. No thanks to you. Oh, let's send let's send our newly found berserker squad. Look at these guys go. God, they are just so hungry for action. Doing a, a mumba line, just straight into the battlefield. Can we? Oh, can we say to attack him? This guy is just so screwed. Fantastic! Excellent. A new type of minion. Give me a moment to study the carcass, and you'll soon be able to summon them. All right. So now we need to pull another lever. I'm sure there's a way to there select my guy it. without now freaking you here. Now you can grow a scout from your nursery. Create one immediately before you finish cleaning out the area. Created two scouts once again because why the hell not? Oh, okay. So I'm clicking mouse three here and I can turn the screen. This is great. Activation what 
is this? According to its name, it's a priest. Marvelous. More minions coming up. Just give me some alone time with the corpse. That's kind of disturbing, Oscar. I really... I'm alright not knowing what you're doing with Take these corpses. Take a look the and summon yourself a priest or two. Yep. They are We're really going with awesome. Two. Going with two. Oh, look, Death Slayer. A sparkly, gleaming treasure. You have a new objective. Ah, oh, no problem. No problem, because we're going to have four berserkers, two scouts, and two priests. These guys, uh, I guess we're not, actually, because we don't have, we don't have this unlocked. Um, hmm. So, what can we do? Can we directly order these guys? Let's see, we can't shift click. We can do a box though, so we're gonna do that. Tell him to go over here. Let's see, can we do control two? Did that do anything? No. No it didn't, so for now, we just have to manually drag a box around these guys. It's no problem. Just just watch them go. What's over here? We got some sort of entrance to our, our dungeon. Oh, and of course I have to come by here and do this. Alright, so we got two priests, two scouts, four berserkers. Will, will you heal this guy, possibly? Maybe, I'm just gonna try this and replace a priest with one of these guys. Aha! So now they are acting beneficially towards each other. Great. All right. Can I select everybody? I can. This is just going to be a massacre. Take a look at the treasure chest. It's open, and all its glittering content is added directly to our Ooh. treasure. Page. Well, well, look what was found at the bottom of the chest a teleport spell. Memorize it, and you'll be able to teleport yourself and any unit or squad anywhere you've already right, visited. Teleport. I'd imagine that you can cast the spell from the unit's context. Memorized. Menu. And, hmm. Try to open a context menu anywhere on the ground and see if you can't move both yourself and your squads to that exact spot. Boom. All right. What about... Oh, what? That's... Here I go again. That's kind of crazy. Oh, there's Boom. one thing I should tell you now that we've started filling our coffers. Accumulating wealth will allow you to buy more squads. It will also add to the dungeon's reputation and attract more heroes. And more heroes means more fun. You see, treasures are the best. One okay. final and, I dare say, crucial note about treasures. I love them. <laughs> if you allow one single treasure pit to be destroyed, I will be extremely disappointed. So disappointed, in fact, that I will return home and leave you here to rot. So a suggestion. Guard them with your life. Nobody speaks to Ball Abaddon that way. But I'll let it slide. Death Slayer, watch because out. I don't think your I have a choice. Your triumphant riot has lured a valiant but foolish hero to our dungeon. Where is he? You still have some time to prepare. I recommend that you create a squad with four units. I have two squads. With four units each, I'm I'm quite prepared. I'm so ready for this hero. Where is he at? I feel like he's gonna come in here. I feel the need to. All right. So so for now, we're waiting. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my god. Like, I'm just gonna teleport him. 
I'm gonna do it right on top of them. They're like, all right, all right, we got some treasure here, right, right, right. No, no, you got you got a squad of goblins right on top of you. That's what you got. These guys back. Huh. No hope. That's There's no the way. hope for these guys. <laughs> I like it. A good clean kill. From now on, you'll have to keep an eye out for more heroes. Now that they have found us, you can be sure that more will enter our dungeon. Alright, let's teleport here. Can we, can we pick this stuff up? Can you pick this stuff up? I'm just gonna leave these materials eat, on the floor. Eat, sleep, slaughter. Eat, sleep, slaughter. Alright. Let's see. Replenish your squad. Hey, Death Slayer. There's a gateway in the chest room. I bet it leads to Cruelly's basement. Let me activate it for you. There, it's working now. The gateway acts as a bridge between two areas. This one leads here. To use it, simply select a unit or squad by left-clicking it and then right-click on the ground on the other side. The squad will automatically use the gateway. All right. Oh, and two things. First, your teleport spell only works in rooms you've already been to. Second, Watch your back. Alright. So everybody can see just the status. What's this? XP and something. Power, maybe. I'm not sure. Alright, so we're continuing our journey deep into this this dungeon. Oh, typical. Mr. Cruelly has a blasted security door to keep us from reaching the area beneath his residence. Seems we need a password. Mr. Cruelly's girlfriend, a dancer slash nurse slash nymphomaniac named Malin Rue, <laughs> will definitely have the password somewhere. I will mark the location of her house on the world map. All right. If her judgment is as bad as her taste. She will keep the password <laughs> in her diary. And as I remember it, she used to hide her journals in the staples. So let's start having some real fun, shall we? Let's terrorize the surface with a raid. More precisely, let's send a squad to Malin's stables to fetch her diary. I'm down. I'm do this. Now that Whoa. you are viewing the world map, Locate Malin's what? home. It looks like a book on a golden background. And open its contacts menu. Then select the number of the squad you want to send. Alright, so I selected one. Ah, okay. I don't know. Anybody with the word nymphomaniac in their name is okay by me. Um, Sorry to so... push your perspective around, oh. Slayer, but I thought you'd like to see our squad raiding now in the state. Yes, I, I would. I, I would love to see this actually. Look at the way our berserkers, with their little card hearts on their wrists, just completely annihilate this warrior. What's he doing hanging out in the stable, anyways? Why? Why are you even in there? Shouldn't you be in my dungeon, trying to get treasure? No. Maybe that's why, because he's just it's just terrible. Out of the pit. But that's okay. Um, let's see. Now I should be able to teleport my squad Nicely back. Done. Let me study the diary and I'll get back to you as soon as I have found the There we go. Look at that. Oh, okay, and then we, we have their hey, levels Death's here. There. It seems one of our units is less than satisfied by how you run things around here. Excuse me? The little bastard has gone soft because he's hungry. He's almost out of aggressiveness. As long as he's out of aggressiveness, he's about as useful as a bar of soap in prison. Immediately order the construction of a kitchen to produce more and better food. Then summon a new worker to operate it. All right. You have a new objective. So I need, oh, I need a kitchen. So we're going to go into management mode. Oh, no, it's, it's here. All right. Nursery, no. Hallway, no. Kitchen, yes. Let's see. We can rotate it a little bit. We'll do it like this, because that, that leaves a whole bunch of openings here. I think... I think I had enough workers that I won't need to summon another one. But, well... You know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna summon another one, because why the hell not? We're gonna, we're gonna name this guy Rage, because... Heroes are entering your dungeon. Oh, shit. 
Rage was awesome from, from Dungeon Keeper. And you know what? It, it just wouldn't be the same without Rage. So we're going to summon Squad 2 here. You get the hell out of here. And Rage, come on. Get out of there, Rage. Alright, now we're going to summon Squad 1 right on top of these bastards. There we go. Squad 2. Just making quick work. We're going to relocate them a little bit. There we go. Just, just tight it up. Let the Berserkers tank. Oh man. Such scrubs. They stand no chance. Alright. Shall we continue? I think so. Alright, didn't we need... We, we got the password. Oh, we're waiting... We're waiting on our kitchen, which we have, and we need to assign a worker. Bam! Got it. Great. Now you can send the demoralized unit to the kitchen using its context menu, or you can teleport it directly instead. If there is enough room, it will eat right away. If not, it will wait. Eating will refill part of its health and aggressiveness. Alright, so... How do we... How do we make this guy get here? Teleport the squad inside of each. Alright. Alright, squad is in the kitchen. Oh my god, what the hell are they eating? He's looking better already, body and soul. While I extract the password uh... from the diary, you should use the time in a more constructive way than just standing around waiting for heroes to drop by. It's nice to get back at Malister cruelly, but it would be even sweeter to see the Babarbian Ballet Academy burn to the ground. I will never forget those cunts. Alright, so these guys are eating now. Not letting me develop my true talent. How do we get to the world? Okay. The academy on the world map. Raid the ballet Send academy. The to raid the basement and set the building up. Got it, Oscar. Just let's find the ballet academy. Where the hell is this thing? There it is. Send squad one. They're all set. How's squad two doing? Looking good. This will be our this will be our hero deterrent group. And they're off. <laughs> Miss Rouge is quite the minx, I say. Considering the graphic details in the diary, it's a real shame that she chose Malister over me. But <clears throat> that's blood under the bridge. The door is open. Get in there and clear out the basement for the final part of the plan. Alright. Just waiting. Just waiting. I, I, I'm too worried to send my goblins out to, uh, to do any other raids because what if some heroes show up? Can I watch this? I wanna watch it. Oh. Are they already back? Okay. I'm double tapping on one we're going here which is not where ah there they are okay so I guess generally uh, the raids are pretty much no problem because it's got this one skull here look at them they're back they're back all right let's continue did you open it yet you did Alright, let's keep going. Deeper and deeper into the dungeon. Squad leveled up. Heroes are entering your Excellent. dungeon. We're oh. ready. Let's blow the residents to smithereens. Build up your troops, and when you're done, send them through that gate. I'll join you on the other side. 
Did I lose? Did I lose a guy? Poor guy. Alright. So we're gonna need to create some more troops. Create some more of these guys. We got... There we go. That's, oh, that was good. And then... One more squad, which we can't quite get yet. Alright, so let's fill this up with an archer right there. We need 50 supply. New materials. How do we how do we get materials? Um I'm pretty sure I could Okay, why can't I zoom in and out anymore? There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna put them there. I'm gonna drag these guys, and then they're gonna be my 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 defense system. Oh, oh no! One of my scouts died. Oh, that's that's so sad. All right, let's, let's make another scout. I'm using I'm using this the supply materials that I need, which is kind of bad. But you know what? Whatever. I want a scout. I'm doing the old two scout. All right, go. Get him over here. Gotta get myself here. I'm here, there, and everywhere. There we go. Open this up. I feel the need to feed. I get. I don't know. We'll, we'll have him join in the in the fight here. Oh my God! What is this? What's the point? Anyway? Hey, you better run. What is he going to? Something unstable. Uh oh. Oh, he's eating food! Alright, where am I at? Let's go here. Let me, let me attack this. Oh, so I definitely need to attack that before he goes there. Looks like it's not gonna happen. Alright. Take these out. Oh man, circuits are hurting. All right. The ball. Let's take out the final table. Oh, he's going. He's going for this one. Go for this one. Yes. Put him down now. Like he, he doesn't know what to do. I figured your trick out, buddy. You're just totally screwed now. Ah, done. Done so. Done so. I lost the guy, but it's all right. Oh, sweet demon of mine, we did it! Tomorrow's town crier news will read: Malister cruelly killed by Death Slayer. We squashed him like a worm. Uh, and you know what? We can have even more fun with the barrels of diseased rat meat our minions just found down here in the basement. <laughs> I have a positively yes. devious idea right now. Ah, uh, I can't wait to dig Bavaria into that diseased rat meat. Few breaths of unspoiled air. Oh, you're gonna waste it? Fantastic. Fantastic. We slayed Malister cruelly. We took out the Ballet Academy. I'd say we did pretty good. So uh, that's it. That's it for this episode. I think I'm going to stop it there. And um, had a good time playing this. Looking forward to doing some more episodes. And I'll see you guys next time.